five things women are tired to hear. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Iris. I and I talk on this channel about all things career and leadership development. And in today's video, I've decided I've chosen violence. I've decided to talk about a topic that is provoking, but that we are tired to hear as women. So here is the thing. Women in position of power women in leadership roles or in life in general, are tired of hearing these five things. The number one thing that women in leadership are tired to hear is you are beauty and brain. <laughs> now, here's the problem with this. When you say you're beauty with brain, it means that you are shocked to see that the woman in front of you is beautiful, and has the brain. It is a little bit like an aggressive, kind of passive compliment. Instead, if you find someone uh, beautiful and you know they are intelligent, you don't need to tell them you're beauty with brain. You can tell them if it's the way they look like, you can give them a compliment. I like how you look today. And you can find another separate time to tell them, I really like the idea that you just put up. That way you don't have to mix one and actually make it about beauty and brain. What's this? We're, no, 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 please stop. The second thing that women in leadership are tired of hearing is who takes care of your family when you're not around? What? Um, wait, 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 wait a minute. I've never, and I've rarely heard about this question asked to a man. I've rarely heard a man be asked, who takes care of your family? This is a sexist comment that suggests that uh, if the woman is not taking care of their family, they're doing the wrong thing. This is not something that women absolutely need to hear or be reminded of. The third thing that women are tired of hearing is, oh, you're not like the others. You're not as aggressive as the other women. I think this is not positive because you don't have to bring someone else down to give a compliment to someone. Instead of saying that, you could say, I like your approach to this, I like how you do this work. You know, you can just focus on providing the good compliment that you're providing to this uh, woman in your life or women that you work with. No need to be like, oh, you're not like uh, Jane or you're not like uh, Paula, etc. So just focus on the person in front of you and give them a genuine compliment. How hard is that? Another uh, thing that women are tired of hearing is if you chase your dream, you might not get a man uh, because, or a man or partner, because uh, your, your success is going to scare them away. Wait a minute. Uh, this is the kind of advice that women on the rise cannot be told in 2022. Please, this has got to stop. It's not encouraging, it's not motivating. Women already have many voices in their head telling them they cannot do it. Uh, and relationships nowadays are becoming harder and tougher. So you telling them such a thing, oh no, don't chase your career because you might not get a man or you might not get a partner, that is something that um, is really not okay to say to anyone at all. Being a man, being a woman, no, it's not just okay to say that. Last and not least, uh, I think it's difficult every time I hear this one. You are smart for your age. Wow. <laughs> this one speaks to me personally because I, I cannot count for you the many times I've heard this. You're smart for your age. And the first thing that I kind of do to kind of provoke people is, how old do you think I am? And when do you think I should be smart? Huh? Is there an age? Please comment in the section below and tell me, do you think there is an age where someone should be smart? And should that be really a reference to, you know, so we get to know that? So I think generally that's not a good way. You can tell someone you really like how spoken they are, how brilliant they think, things like those. You don't need to bring it to, uh, oh, you're smart for your age. That is not a compliment, really. Um, 
Yeah, so I think these in general are things that women are tired to hear. And please, let's remember we are in the month of celebrating women. Uh, let's continue empowering the women around <laughs> us. Let's keep uh, cheering them up. Let's keep uh, encouraging them to keep doing what they're doing. And for me personally, I want to tell you, if you're a woman and you're watching, keep going, keep growing. You got this.